a mess. That made a mess. There's lots of pressure, they're down. I tried to shut things down as quick as I could. We have spares made up. So we'll get that changed. I went from there to there. Yeah, I made it really far. Trying to seed canola in the mud. Got mud caked on our openers and packer tires. Doesn't do a really good seeding job. So that's uh, just a like a three or four footer. Right there. I'm gonna make a call. Just with shanks going up and down, hoses are moving, there's a lot of rub points. Yeah, from the hoses rubbing against the frame, like even there, obviously there. We try to find as many as we can in the off season, tape them up or change them. Obviously we missed one and then this happens. But we got, we got a spare, it's not a major fix. You just lose a lot of oil. Do you have another? I just need another three quarter inch. Oh, that's just... No leaks. Pressure on the openers, I lift it up. That spot in the frame is full of oil, it's gonna get dirty, but nothing you can do about that. Lines blow all the time. So many lines, hoses running everywhere. And it's not bad when you have the spare hoses, so we figured out we might as well keep a couple on hand just in case. So now we are down we are down to one spare hose left. We still have that worn spot on the big one inch fan hose on the front of the tank, just behind the sectional control. That was gonna be changed today because it was supposed to be raining and uh, had a little bit more time to do that one. A little bit bigger job because it's routed with other hoses and stuff. So that was today's job. Um, it didn't rain. So hopefully it hangs in there a little bit longer because uh, we're gonna keep the drill moving. Almost done here. I don't know how much oil I lost. I put in 10 liters, but there's no way to tell because the oil level is below the sight gauge when the drill is folded down. When you fold up, it pushes all that oil up and then you can see it in the sight glass. It was just above the minimum. So when we fold up here, we'll, uh, we'll see where that oil level is. Might have to add some more. You overfill it, you'll blow this cap right off. Blew the cap off the versatile Delta track once. Oil level is good, which means I didn't lose a heck of a lot of oil. Stopping in the yard for the essentials. Canola and coffee. Wheat is up, you can just start to see the rows. Looks pretty good. This was May 6th. And it is the 17th today as I am overlapping into the wheat. Looks pretty good. Well, uh, that was close. Yeah, that was close. I knew it was going to be wet in there. And every year I say, don't go in there. You know what's wet in there, don't go in there. So over the last couple of years, I've been able to see through there because it's been dry, but it used to be super wet all the way from water there to the road. Don't go in there. But the other part of me is saying, go in there, seed that. Well, why would you leave that out? 
okay first banana peel toss of the season the target is between the two mineral bander shanks right there underneath the two white stickers by the hydraulic oil on the frame it's gonna be a little bit different because the fent door swings this way where the versatile ah, swung that way it's gonna be a little bit trickier but here we go Trading me. Thought maybe I could spray, but 50k winds is not ideal, so I'll have to wait for it to calm down later. And if not, fill fertilizer. There's one guy. He's a little bit deeper than I thought. size of that gronker holy mrb it's down in there too windy to spray drills empty doing about 200 acres per fill right now there's a chunk of barbed wire fence dragging in the middle of the drill gotta get that out of there there's always stuff the shanks pick up always treasures Had this bush pushed up into a pile trying to take it out. This was a bush over there. Just couldn't fit in here with the sprayer. Things are getting so much bigger and they're just frankly in the way. Everyone's doing it. it kind of sucks, but these little bluffs of trees are getting more and more in the way. And this here was all grass. So I've been working that uh, with the disc, disking it multiple times, picking rocks, picking pieces of metal out of there. Just trying to clean up this corner a little bit. This is some new ground to us this year, so trying to get it the way we want it. Pieces like that, that almost went through the drill at the last second. like an axle uh, I don't know actually could be more rain again tonight see how late I can go Let's see how wet it is in the morning that's better that's better the yard is only a quarter mile away but I did call for a ride I'm not walking. There's bears and wolves. 